so this example is a best example for a slot how to create a slot in a specific angle okay and how to make use of a trim so the all these things we can able to draw okay so while you are understanding the drawing you can able to use what is the uh, uh, best use of the center point rectangle so here everything is based on the center and your rectangle is over here and the rectangle center circle center and this construction circle center everything is same okay so it is a best time or best thing here we have to use is a center point rectangle not the corner rectangle so here don't prefer corner rectangle always try to prefer the center point rectangle and whenever you are doing the number of instances over here okay so here better try to apply it for some specific angles okay so the instances it is not given for 360 degree it is given for a specific angle okay so at three uh, sorry four instances with the equal interval of 45 degree okay so how to apply this type of constraints let us see that So let's create a new example. Seven for sketching. In this, we are going to draw first this rectangle. The rectangle side is 90 cross 60. Okay. So 60 and 90. So let us try to draw a center point rectangle. From here. So it is 90 and the vertical distance is 60. Okay. So we have drawn two rectangles here. Sorry, one rectangle here of dimension 90 and 60. Then at the each corner, you are having two circles. Okay. One circle is of diameter 10, other circle is of radius 10. That means diameter is 20. Okay. Let us try to draw the two circles. There are two ways you can do. You can draw each and every circle manually, and other one you can do the linear pattern. Okay. So both you can do it. So let us try to use the linear pattern. So that it will be effective. Okay. So draw one circle which is of diameter 20. The next circle which is of diameter 10. Okay. So two circles are there. Let's try to make it as a rectangular pattern. As a rectangular pattern. Okay. So rectangular pattern of this one and this one. You can see here along this direction. Okay. So it is over here. The two sides I require it. Okay. So this side is also two. This side is also two. Okay. So here, what is the distance we have we are having, which is 60 mm. So let's apply the same distance here. 60. on the other side similarly here the distance is 90 mm so apply 90 and give that tick mark okay so that got the circles exactly over here okay the four circles we have drawn only thing is we need to remove the unwanted portions so let us try to remove that unwanted portions here. So trim so this portion. We don't want it. Okay. Then the inner portion, the inner lines has to be removed. 
this. Remove the inner line. This one. The inner lines has to be removed. So now we have removed it. Okay. Can apply the dimensions if you want. This is the radius is 10. Actually, it's coming up same because we have already applied the distance. Okay. So I think I have removed the dimensions. That's why it is coming properly. So the center distance again let me try to make it yep. so here so now let's try to dimension between this two center as 60 plus, and this two center as 9. Okay. Or you can apply fixed constraint so that it will be fixed. If you nothing is what you can apply the fixed constraint. Okay, proper. Now let's try to go for this arc or this lot first. So this lot, let us try to make it. Okay. So from this one, the distance is at seven. Okay. Let's draw a line here. Make this as a construction line. Okay. So the length of the line is thirty. The length of the line is thirty. And it is symmetrical about both. So from here, the dimension is half, which is 15. And from this center to this line, it is given as 7. All dimensions are provided. Let's try to draw this slot. Okay, so the slot diameter so here the gap is given here the same slot is used here so it is of diameter 4 okay so let's try to apply the slot for this one the diameter is 4 we got a slot here you can see the slot equivalent to this okay the same slot is applied over here so it is like a mirror so let's try to apply the mirror here. So you no need to draw this slot again. So you can use the mirror. Okay. So here, based on this plane, I can able to use the mirror command. So the mirror line is this. Entities to be mirrored is this. So you can able to get another slot here. Okay. You can able to get it easily. Then this lot I'm going to draw. First, let us draw the circle. Okay. A circle which is of diameter 16. Okay. Diameter is 16. Right, that's one. 
diameter 16 and you draw this particular arc actually this line is vertical so from here draw an arc at a radius of 24.5 for an angle of 75 degrees okay so we are going to draw a center point arc the center is here the radius is like this okay so the radius they have given it as 24.5 okay so this is the radius 24.5 is the radius and the angle you have to provide it okay so let us try to draw the angle let me draw a construction here okay let's try to provide the angle between this one and the vertical line it is 75 and take this one as a construction okay so that you can able to draw a slot over here so the slot is of diameter 4 okay so let us try to draw the slot here which is of diameter 4 let's check it out it's a diameter 4 so let's apply that Now, if you want to give another constraint for this one, it is 30. So I can apply that. And the distance is 30. From here, it is 45. This distance this 45 okay if it is required you just provide another dimensions okay so this is a radius 45 which is given now let's try to draw this one okay so this one so here also it is at the same radius you can see it over here it is at the same radius okay so let us try to draw an arc from here to here okay so along that arc let us try to draw the circle okay four circles okay which is equal uh which is equally divided with an angle of 45 degree okay so let's try to draw an arc a center point arc from here to somewhere on this place so the radius is 24.5 okay. that's a radius change this as construction line and get this angle okay so take this particular angle So dimension between this one and this one is three times the 45 degree okay so three into 45 that is the angle 135 degree okay so let us try to make a circle at this point so the diameter here is this which is of diameter 4. Okay. So let's try to draw the circle of diameter 4. And you have to draw the remaining three circles along this place. Okay. So let's try to use the circular pattern of this one. Automatically, you can see it is coming over here. But this one, you need to turn it this angle you need to turn okay so this angle is 135 degree okay it is of 3 x which is over here so how many x we require which is 4x 
four times. So the gap will be equal with an angle of 135. Okay. So even one is enough. You no need to draw this arc. But to represent the curvature, it is required. Okay. Split. Yeah. So even if you delete this, won't be a problem. So each one is of diameter four. So this is a, a, about the example seven.